Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you all are doing good today. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate about how you can leverage web content filtering to uh, regulate uh, web content on your user devices. Web content filtering is a component of web protection capability of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. If in case if you want to have more details on web protection, please uh, click on the card on your screen. I have also provided uh, the link in the description video. Now uh, let's discuss few benefits of uh, web content filtering. Using web content filtering, uh, you can prevent users from accessing websites uh, uh, belonging to a specific category. Even if uh, the users are not in your organization's secure perimeter network. It also gives a flexibility to the security team that uh, now they can deploy the policies to a group of users using device groups. And security team can also fetch the web reports from the same location on how, uh, what all is blocked and how the users are uh, using the web. Like every product, uh, web content filtering also have some requirements. In order to leverage web content filtering, uh, you need uh, either of the listed subscriptions activated in your account. Let's start the demonstration now. Let's log into security.microsoft.com. Before creating a web content filter policy, we know what we need to do. We need to create a uh, device group. So let's go into the settings and click on endpoints and click on device groups. Click on add device group. Type in the group name and set the automation level. In this POC, I'm just keeping it for full so that automatic remediation can happen and click on next. Let's type in the criteria so that we can filter out the list of uh, devices which we want to be a member of this device group. Let's click on show uh, preview so that we can see that what all devices will be in the member of this group and click next. If we want to limit access to it through this uh, device group, to a specific uh, user of a specific group of users. Then in that case, you can add that particular group here. Otherwise, what you can do, you can just keep it default and uh, all the users will be having access to this group. Click on close now and now apply the changes. The next thing what we need to do is to create a web content filtering policy. So let's go ahead and uh, create a web content filtering policy now. Click on add item and let's give a policy name. And let's choose a few of the categories now. Let's choose streaming media and downloads. And uh, we can choose hacking here, illegal softwares, weapons, and let's block instant messaging, social networking, professional networking. And web based team. Let's click on next now. Let's choose the device group. You can review the summary here and uh, just click on save. So now, as we have done with the configuration, so let's go ahead and validate uh, whether the restrictions we have configured uh, is really working or not. And uh, users should not be able to access all those uh, websites or the categories we have uh, configured in web content filtering policy. So let's go ahead and validate now. So uh, one thing what we can do is, uh, the first thing is uh, the illegal software. So as you can see that uh, Get Into PC is a sort of a website where you can see where, where, where you can get a lot of softwares and uh, the illegal softwares uh, and we are not able to access that website now. The, uh, now let's try with the, the professional networking Let's try to access the linkedin.com. So it should also be blocked. Yes, it is blocked. Now let's try with facebook.com. Let's say social networking site. And we should not be able to. Yes, we are not able to access it. Let's try with a web mail client. That is, either you can try with Gmail or Yahoo. I'm trying with mail.yahoo.com. Yes, I'm not able to access it. 
and one more category with you know, what is left is uh, streaming media and downloads so let's try that now so you can try youtube.com and you can see we are not able to access it the next category is instant messaging so let's try to blog let's try if i'm able to access web.whatsapp.com no we are not able to so this is another instant messaging site so we are not able to access this website as well now you can see that users are not able to access those uh, restricted sites and uh, the configuration looks fine now now let's log into security.microsoft.com and uh, validate uh, whether all those events uh, the urls we have accessed is captured in the security.microsoft.com or not as uh, web content filtering is part of web protection so uh, we'll be getting this in the report section of web protection so let's go ahead and scroll down to reports and click on web protection and in the right hand side you can see this the web content filtering blocks so let's go to the details of it and now you can see that all the categories are listed here and uh, you can also see the how many requests we have uh, security.microsoft.com have captured from the different clients and uh, the number of machines the number of domains we have tried to access of various categories so if in case if you want to have more details like uh, the number of times the url has been accessed then from where the url has been accessed as well as uh, which is the web content filtering policies applied uh, controlling this uh, content so what you can do you can click on any of the category and get more details about that particular uh, uses the urls so let's click on one of the category let's choose uh, professional networking and as you can see this uh, the number of times i have accessed this website is uh, for number four uh, and this is the device name and web regulation policy is the name of the web content filtering policy which is controlling the content of this now let's see uh, the details about uh, the urls we have accessed based on the machine group name and uh, as you can see this uh, windows 10 hyphen device is the number of uh, name of the device group and uh, these all are the websites and the number of requests which we have sent uh, from uh, the devices which is part of this group and uh, you can if in case if you want more details you can click on any of the machine and uh, get more details about it so uh, let's have a look in uh, what all we have configured in this demo and uh, initially what we have done we have created device group and uh, then we created a web content filtering policies and uh, selected the different categories we want to block for the users um, then we have validated whether all those restrictions are in place and the users are not able to access those websites and then uh, we have also seen that how secure all those alerts are captured in security.microsoft.com and we can get all those uh, report about all those reports from the web protection reports i hope this will be informative for you please do share and subscribe if you really liked this video if in case if you want me to go make a video on a specific topic please do mention in the comment section of this video thanks for watching have a great day